This is Michael Wilson. We're looking at building peace and multiplication, the journey of faith. Let's do it, my friends. So why is this important? Um, well, in Acts 9.31, uh, it stands out as a beacon of hope, radiating the essence of faith, peace, and growth. It paints a vivid picture of the early Christian community, embarking on a transformative journey amidst trials, persecutions, and triumphs. So let's delve into the profound wisdom encapsulated with this verse and unravel its timeless message of spiritual fortitude and divine grace. So in Acts 9.31, we read, So the church throughout all of Judea and Galilee and Samaria had peace and was being built up and walking in the fear of the master and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit, it multiplied. So what's the backstory? Well, uh, Saul, the, who became the Apostle Paul, was persecuting the church. He was chasing them all over uh, Judea, Galilee, Samaria. He was arresting them. Uh, Stephen was stoned to death. Uh, it was not a good time. But Jesus appeared to him, and he converted and fought, started following Jesus and preaching and proclaiming the good news uh, of his kingdom. Well, at first, uh, the people didn't believe that he truly had been converted, but eventually they came to realize it. And that's when peace came. And that's when they found comfort in the Holy Spirit. And that's when the church continued to multiply. So these words resonate with a profound sense of unity and tranquility. Amidst the tumultuous landscape of the ancient world, the fledgling Christian community found solace in the embrace of peace. It was not merely the absence of conflict and persecution, but a state of inner security nurtured by their unwavering faith in the Master Jesus. So the journey of building peace within the church was not without its challenges. As uh, we talked about in the, in the background here, the backstory, uh, the Christians faced a huge amount of persecution, opposition, internal strife. Yet they stayed steadfast in their commitment to the teachings of Jesus, embodying love, forgiveness, and compassion in the face of persecution and adversity. Their collective efforts to foster unity and harmony laid the foundation for a community bound by the bonds of faith and fellowship. So walking in the fear of the master signifies um, a deep reverence and awe for the divine presence in their midst. In the comfort of the Holy Spirit, they found solace and strength to persevere in their mission. And the Holy Spirit, the divine advocate and counselor, enveloped them in its comforting embrace, instilling courage, wisdom, and discernment. And so the church multiplied. These simple words encapsulate the miraculous expansion of the early Christian community. Despite facing persecution and opposition, the church flourished and grew exponentially. So Acts 9.31 serves as a timeless reminder of the enduring legacy of faith, peace, and multiplication. And it beckons us to emulate the example of the early Christians, to walk in the fear of the master and abide in the comfort of the Holy Spirit. So as we reflect on the profound wisdom contained within this verse, may we be inspired to cultivate peace within our hearts and communities. May we walk in the fear of the master and guide, uh, be, be guided by reverence and obedience to his will. So here's the bottom line. In the tapestry of faith, Acts 9.31 stands as a testament to the enduring power of the good news of Jesus, a beacon of hope guiding us on our journey of spiritual growth unity, and divine grace. Let us heed his call and embark on the path of discipleship with courage, conviction, and unwavering faith. And that's some mighty good news, brothers and sisters.